what was revealed to be nearly 18 months of inaction. Last winter, it blew up into a national crisis. Breaking news tonight. It's a disaster. The public health crisis. The toxic water in Flint, Michigan. The president today declaring a state of emergency. Since then, more than a dozen officials have been criminally charged, and the investigation continues. That's probably been our greatest challenge, is reestablishing trust, because we had people at every level of government, local, state, federal, tell us our water is fine. In Flint, where an estimated 5,000 children were affected by tainted water. Tell us our water is fine. Drink up. Drink up. Hey guys welcome myself back to my own channel on today's video we are making a water bottle dress we are starting off with this blue and pink dress that we got from the thrift store for six dollars and here is the before So to get started, we're taking the dress as is and we're just gluing water bottles straight to the blue part of the dress. It's as simple as that. We are just taking the hot glue gun, lining it up with a line of glue straight down the middle and gluing it right onto the dress, which is probably the most dangerous way to do it. You should probably take off the dress, but in order for the dress to keep its shape, I had the dress on while my sister helped me glue the water bottles in place. So here I am just standing up on the stool where my sister gets the bottom of the dress. We worked our way from the top to the bottom and then around the back. Okay, really quick, just to mention real quick, this video is pre-recorded, meaning I recorded this video a long time ago. This is not recent. I recorded this video almost a year ago. And this has nothing to do with the crisis that we're in now with the whole virus thing so no i did not go out and buy a crap load of water bottles just to make this dress and no this has nothing to do with what's going on today but it is kind of weird that i got this video done around this time anyway just so you know that's that's not related okay so don't go in the comments going all crazy on me Thank you! So as I stated before in my other dress making video, I make these dresses to make a statement and to get people talking about the topic. And I always make that topic very clear in the beginning of my video and it has nothing to do with the current situation we're in now. So this did take a long time to make. I was standing on this stool for about an hour until she finished the first layer of the front and the back of the dress. And even then, after that she was done, she had to go home. So I had to finish the rest of the dress on my own to make it stand out more, make it a little bit more puffy. So I had to add another layer. So this was just the first layer and it took a whole hour just to get it done.
So at this point you can see that she is shifting all around the dress, making sure to get water bottles all over the blue part of the dress, completing that first layer. By the way, if for some odd reason you decide to recreate this video or this dress, um, make sure that you are being very careful. This is plastic and it is melting glue onto plastic, which um, can lead to a lot of burns, a lot of mistakes. Just be very careful and yeah. So here, what I am doing here is I'm trying to cut off as much as this pink lace as I can from the dress. I did want all of the dress to be blue to represent the water and pink really didn't fit into the mix. So I wanted to get rid of all of this pink and it did take a while. This dress you can see but it was definitely handmade and um, there was a lot of stitching and a lot of things to cut through. There's a lot of beads and... It was just crazy.
So at this point you can see this is the first layer of the dress and it literally stands on its own. This dress is the heaviest dress that I've made so far, which is weird because it's just empty plastic water bottles, but it was the heaviest dress. And then when I tell you it was falling and slipping all over the place, it was nuts. At this point, my sister left and went home and I had to continue the dress on my own. All of these water bottles were for the second and third layer of the dress. As I said before, these are all water bottles that I collected over time and some random Sprite bottles just cause. And I just gathered them up and brung them out and now we're going to glue them onto the dress. So now I'm still working on that pink lace part. Um, it is very hard to cut off, so I'm really trying to focus and get as much of it off as I can. So at this point I realized that I can't really get all of the pink off of the dress and I kind of give up on that idea and I just, you know, move on to something else. So right now I'm looking at it, I'm trying to see what I could possibly do to cover up all this pink and I decided that I'm going to use the bottle caps from some of the extra bottles that I have and just glue them onto the entirety of the top half of the dress covering the blue and the pink spots so I'm just gluing each bottle cap individually onto the dress trying to be as careful as I possibly can I'm gluing the caps facing down so that it looks like kind of a bubble wrap effect and it's 3d and it sticks out I started to go in this white blue pattern but eventually I ran out of the blue caps and I decided that I was going to just fill up the rest of it with just white caps and paint the blue on there later on.
Here I am working on what is my second to third layer of the dress. The top half of the dress has two layers of water bottles on it already and I am working my way down until I finish the second layer and move on to the third. is the third layer going on the dress now I am just gluing the extra bottles that I have onto the pre-existing bottles that are already on top of the dress to give it extra dimension and to make it look like a Cinderella dress ball but well not a dress ball a ball dress but made out of water bottles And after I finished that third layer of water bottles, here is a completed look. The water bottle dress is complete. There is still bits of pink showing, but that is from the white bottle caps, which I'm going to cover up with the blue paint. And I also forgot to record, but I made a little belt by my waist with the wrappings from the water bottle. And here I'm just going to take a sip of water. It's very heavy dress, like a dramatic queen. So thank you so much for watching this far. Like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for just being here. By the way, I have a matching necklace and matching earrings. Aesthetically pleasing? I think so.
follow me on Instagram for more of my wacky, crazy dress creations. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.